Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Well, before they can speak in sentences, many toddlers are already learning how to work their parents' smartphones, sometimes better than their parents can. But by high school, many teens are spending hours on their tablets and their phones. So how much screen time is too much and how can families cut back? Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about this. Hey, and Beth. good morning, morning, Elise. I think a lot of parents struggle with yeah, this issue so of how much screen time is too much. And the American Heart Association just issued a warning that excessive screen time may raise a child's risk of being overweight or obese and developing heart disease down the road. But research shows it may also be causing some changes in the brain that could affect a child's ability to think and pay attention. By now you've heard the warnings you need to dramatically cut your child's screen time, but how? Dr. Taz Body of Center Spring MD says try setting an electronic budget. So that's the phone, the TV, the iPad, the video games, all of it. How much time are we going to set for them to use? Think of it as a digital diet for your child's developing brain. And we've got study after study that says that this type of use of electronic devices with the stimulation and the constant multitasking is affecting kids. It's leading to more inattention, more anxiety and actually poor grades. The American Heart Association recommends limiting children to two hours a day of screen time and for younger kids the American Academy of Pediatrics says go lower. How low? It depends on the child. So if you have an elementary school age child, 30 minutes. It sounds harsh, but it really shouldn't be more than 30 minutes a day because you want them to be involved in imaginative play, trying to think creatively. For middle school students, Dr. Taz recommends an hour a day limit. But same idea. What else could they be doing? You know, could they be writing? Could they be journaling? Could they be painting? Could they be playing outside? High school students can have more time, up to two hours. And Dr. Taz says you will get some pushback, but push on. When we talk about on the electronic budget, it's not just because we're saying, hey, electronics are bad, you know, let's move them all. No, it's because we know that they are changing the chemistry of the adolescent brain, of the preteen brain, and affecting the way our children function and perform in the world. And it's, it's a real big problem. And the group Common Sense Media surveys parents and teens about their habits, and it found 95% of families with, the, with children eight and under own a smartphone, and teens report spending more than four hours a day on their mobile devices. Overall, they spend nine hours a day with some type of media, but before you get all judgy, <laughs> uh, us, the adults, we spend the same amount of time, nine hours a day on some sort of media. That includes wow. work, but that's still a lot of yeah, time so on like, computer. Get off your high horses, adults, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Not doing much better. Okay, so experts recommend creating device-free zones in your home. How does that work? So that is just getting devices away from from interfering sort of with your function as a family. Mm -hmm. So getting them away from the dining room table, getting them out of the bedroom, getting them, you know, out of the times that you want to connect with your kids. So maybe having some rules about we use them here, we don't use them during dinner. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned specifically the bedroom. Um, yeah. We know screens can affect sleep. So how can yes. you get kids to... to so I read a really phones. interesting point that, that Common Sense made, and that was you charge the device at nighttime. So you know how a lot of people charge by their bedtime, bedside I do that. That's yeah. not great for your sleep. Take the devices out of the bedroom of your kid's bedroom and say, I'll charge them overnight. And huh. that way you're in charge, you know, from yeah. like nine o'clock on that phone's in your possession, not the kid's possession. They can get it back in the morning. Kids may it not works. like that. No, they won't. But, but <laughs> could make a big there difference. You have it. Yes. Interesting. I yeah. can't believe how much time we spend on our screen. I know. I can. Shocking. I can. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. Sure. We appreciate it. Time is 948. Well, the FDA has approved